Hey guys, this is Erase, and I'm here with an Arcane Mage First Arms Warrior Dual Guide. This wasn't very easy for me to do, because Arms Warriors can do ridiculous amounts of damage to anything, especially Arcane Mages, because of the many amazing damage-dealing abilities they have. So, when dueling an Arms Warrior, you really need to watch out for a couple of things. One is the 5 second intercept, two is throwdown, and three is bladestorm. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with all of them. The best possible way of dealing with an arms warrior is kiting the hell out of him after you get a sheep in the opener. So, I'm going to go ahead and play this clip, and right off the bat, what I'm doing is running around on my mount so that if he charges, I can jump it. That's something you should always do. And as you keep jumping around, you can move in and get a frost nova. Then all you have to do is fake the spell reflect right there, and then get a sheep on him and then you start spamming awesome arcane damage into him but you don't want to use your arcane power off the bat because he might use his warrior regen what you should do is continue trying to jump the uh, charges and intercepts and lull him into a false sense of security right here I have I still haven't used my super offensive cooldowns and that's kind of mind fucked him so now I'm using them and his HP really starts to drop so I blink the really long intercepts and then I get thrown down right about here and you have to block the throwdown and the thing with throwdown is even if you leave ice block you're still thrown down it's the most poorly designed ability in the game but if you get the warrior down to the point where he's gonna die anyways you're safe what is dangerous is if the warrior gets the throwdown early because you weren't kiting well enough and he gets ridiculous amounts of damage on you. So, Arms Warrior versus Frost Mage, I mean Arcane Mage, you shouldn't win, but if you kite well enough, you can win every time. 